What's up, everybody? I'm Bozzy, and you're watching Live 95.5 in the Bloodworks Live studio. I'm so tired. Oh, oh my God. I think I might just... Yeah. Every, okay, everybody, it's nap time. It is nap time. <laughs> that tour Not life today. is getting to you already, huh? It really is. It's oh, just man. Like, I've been up at, like, 7 a.m. every morning, and then, like, new city, hotel for, like, an hour, right. and then, like, a different city. But I made it, and we're here. Yeah. That's right. We're in Portland. Boz is in Portland. Um, first of all, congratulations on all the success with mine so far. Thank you for the hat, too, yeah, by the way. Looks nice. He sent me this hat. Hair too. On Valentine's Day, too. Like what are you it. trying to do? You know me. <laughs> no, it was really cute. It came with like, like candy hearts and like little stickers and stuff. So I had to wear it today just to show some support for you. Good looks. Um, you have a show with Camila Cabello tonight at the Arlene wow. Schnitzer. Yeah. That's that's fun. That's really exciting. What time does it start? Eight? Um, yeah, I think I go on at eight and she goes on at nine. So yeah. the tour just kicked off yesterday, right? So no, this... two days ago okay. in, in Vancouver. Yeah. Okay. So this is show number three for you then? Number three, yeah. Awesome. You're doing the yeah. entire leg of the tour? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, I think there's like a few dates I'm missing because I'm doing like a festival or something. But Oh, what festival are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> it's so funny. It is like the funniest thing because like... Like, my booking agent is just booking me for, like, a ton of random stuff. And so I did my first show in Vancouver, and I walked out of the venue. We were going to get some food. And there's, like, this giant billboard, and, like, I'm, like, on it for, like, a festival. I was like, I had no idea I was even doing it. That's cool. I actually have a picture of it. Do you yeah. have my phone? I want to I wanna oh, see it. Oh, it's in there. It's cool. I'll show you guys another Is it time. just, like, a standard, like, um, like label photo that you, like, took? No, no, or no, no. It, like, no. So it's literally, like, it's called uh, Faded in the Park. I don't know if you guys know that. Hmm. But it's, like... I had no idea, and it's like future and like Migos, and then it's like I'm on like the Sega road. What? All right, I guess we're doing that. But that, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, are you going to be joining Camila when she goes on tour with Taylor by any chance? Because you know Taylor no. likes to bring out like random artists yeah. every once maybe in a while. Maybe I'll maybe I'll pull up to like a stop or something. But yeah. I'm not I, I'm not doing the whole tour. That way. would be cool though if Taylor Swift was like, "Hey, Posse, you did really good on yeah. uh, Camila's tour. Do you want to just out. come out and like play your song?" I might have to do it. Hopefully, it'll good be like idea. somewhere around here too. Maybe yeah. her show in Seattle. That'd be great. Um, what's What's it been like? Like getting like prepping for tour. Like packing. Are you a light packer? A heavy packer? Oh my god. I'm a child. And like I never knew I never knew like how much of a, a child I was until like Tor came and so he knows this is my tour manager right here. It's Jordan, everybody. Say what's up, Jordan. Hi Jordan. Um, so we get to the first day of tour and I really am a child. I just like I don't think ahead. I'm always in the moment and I just kinda like show up to things. I'm like, we're here, like let's figure it out. Um so I got to the first day of tour and I realized that like my, so my style is packed my suitcase with like tour wardrobe like stuff. It doesn't have like sweats. It's just like jeans and jackets and stuff like that. And I brought one pair of sweatpants and one hoodie. I didn't even bring a toothbrush. I didn't have, I didn't bring boxers. I didn't bring socks. I was like, what the fuck? I'm gone for like an entire <laughs> month and I didn't bring anything like I. Dang. I I like I really like how I think, but sometimes it like I'm like, you're five. Like you're literally five years old. Like you're an adult, but you're not an adult at all. Who I'm really needs bad underwear at being an adult. though. Like really. That's what I'm saying. It's like, come on, what's the point? So toothbrush for what? I heard you for did what? like a little PDX tour before you came here. You got like a sample platter at Voodoo Donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> what did I you like, try? I don't know. It was like a bunch of like the <laughs> most unhealthy stuff I've ever eaten. Yeah. But it was so good. I was like, I think I'm going to move to Seattle. I was like, Portland. This is spot. Portland. Wait, we're not okay. in Seattle? No, we're in Portland. I'm so confused. It's I got to okay. go. <laughs> it's all right. That's it's it. Right. Mic drop. Okay. No, well, it's okay. Portland, it's a I'm common moving. mistake. It's go right. Trailblazers. We'll we'll, yeah, there you go. There you go. He, Dame sa he beast. saved it. He saved it. I saved it. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. <laughs> I may not know where I am, but what I know, I know. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, you have your new album, Cosmic, coming out tomorrow. That's so exciting, man. What's been like your, man, the journey getting there, like the collaborations, who have you worked with, like the yeah. prep, like what is it? Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, honestly, Cosmic is um, just like me, if I'm being honest. People are always like, what? what's it about? It's like, it's just a straight like in look into who I am and in situations I've been through and I'm, I'm still going through. Um, it's really vulnerable. I, I just wanted to, I think like being an artist and you know, becoming like famous has this whole facade of like, 
you're different than regular people. But it's like, I'm just trying to be like, once you get in like this light and in this world, you understand that all those people are faking it and like just showing you guys a bunch of stuff. So you're like, wow, these people are so special and cool, but it's so fake. And like, I want to be the opposite of that. I just want to be like, I could be your friend and you can listen to my music and relate and like find a home to be like, oh, he feels the same way that I feel. Like you don't feel like you're going through these things by yourself. Um, and that's what cosmic is. It's just a home for people to just connect your emotions to. And, um, I tried to be as honest as I could possibly be in the project. And some songs, it makes me look like an asshole. And some song it makes me look like a nice guy. And it's it's really real, though. Like, I have a song called Myself, which the hook is I'm better by myself. And then I have songs like mine, where it's like, I need you and I love you. It's like, but it's real. It's human. And one moment we're here and one moment we're there. And it moves all over. So, yeah. That's dope. I saw you tweeted the other day, this album is going to change everything. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know what? I don't really know. <laughs> It's just the it's the vibe, it's the feeling. That I just you're like feel it. I don't know. <laughs> it's like I have nothing like specific where it's like, oh man, but I just know that it's gonna it's gonna help a lot of people and yeah. it's gonna be really fun to, you know. It's interesting from for my music because like for instance, I just put a song called Honest Out. I don't know if any of you guys have heard it. Is there is there like a like horses under us? What is that noise? Yeah, no, it's the it's the max. Oh, there's a, there's yeah. a train it's or something? The, it's on it's actually above ground. I was super scared. Yeah. Um <laughs> But I have a song called Honest, and uh, it's really honest. And it's interesting because you put, you know, you put this, like, pain and, like, feeling into a song. And when I made that song, I was so heartbroken, and I felt, like, so shitty and bad. And I made it, and once I made the song, like, I didn't feel that way anymore. It was, like, it was like therapy for me. I like, took the emotion and, like, the pain I was feeling, and I put it into the song, and I just, like, didn't feel it anymore. And then it's like when you give it to the world, it's really like sending those problems away. It's like this song was mine. I was listening to it. No one else had it. And now it's like it's the world. And like you can kind of move past it. And I've been working on the album for two and a half years now. So it's like really like closing a chapter of my life and letting me like look forward and move on to something new. So. Sick. We're excited. We're excited to hear it tomorrow. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. We do have some fan questions blowing up like the Twitter and the Instagram. So I'm just going to ask, ask a couple of these and we'll get to the, the music, okay? Let's do it. Um, at Bianca, I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm not going to botch it. Uh, but she asked, what's the first thing you notice about a girl? Ooh, that's so tough. I feel like eyes. Let me answer. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's always random. But I, I think the first thing I notice about a girl is like her attitude. Oh. You know what I mean? Like if she's like really fly and like maybe she's a little obnoxious and like I'm like, that's cool. Like, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention to like I'm weird. I'm like the weirdest kid in the world. But like looks are like cool. But like, I don't know. I live in L.A. Everyone is like fake pretty. So it's like <laughs> I like to just see like I like to just see like how a girl acts, like how she like holds herself. Yeah. And, like, if she's cool and a little funny or quirky, like, I like that. All right. Yeah. Step your comedy up, ladies. <laughs> um, Ariana Graco 11 wants to know, what's your favorite song out of what you've released so far? <sighs> so far? Um, probably Honest. Yeah. Yeah. Just because it's, like, it's just so real. And as an artist, you want to just be the, like, most artist you can be. And I feel like that song is, like you know, the closest representation of, like, my most vulnerable songwriting I've done. So I'd say honest. Don't but I don't have favorites. My songs are like my kids. So <laughs> that kid just got, like, he a good grade them. on the test, and I like that one. Loves them all equally. Yeah. Brooke Apollo wants to know, who is someone you would like to collaborate with? I'd say Kanye West. I'm yeah, just like, I be cool. love, I love Kanye. Like, my production, like, all, all the stuff I produce is super inspired by his creativity and the way he samples things and, and sonically, like, he's an animal. I love Kanye, yeah. so. And I've said that, like, I get asked that in, like, every interview. I've said that, like, <laughs> 25 times, so. Kanye, He's gonna hear it go. eventually. He will. He's like, all right, I get it, man. Like, we, we're not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> um, Laura wants to know, have you ever had any weird fan interactions? You know what's funny? I always get asked that, but I, I really haven't. Like, my fans are really chill. Yeah? They're super chill. And they're, like, like really cool. And, like, like for instance, like, they're smart. Like, they know stuff that I'm like, how did you guys figure that out? Like, I was in New York doing, like, TRL and some, like, press stuff. 
And I got back to my apartment, and it was the first time I had even been there. I was staying with a friend. I hadn't even been there yet. I didn't even, I have not even seen it. This is my first time going here. And there was like 20 fans outside, and I was like, how did you guys? How? Like, they either had to follow me, like, my entire day, and I went to Brooklyn and did, like, Genius and, like, all this stuff. Either way, it's impressive. I was like, you guys are cool. And they gave me, like, a giant bottle of Hennessy. I was like, you guys are... <laughs> Winning. Yeah, they're super chill. Like they're never ever aggressive, and they're always like, just like, I don't know. They're great. They're good. Yeah. Well, these fans in here are great too, and I'm sure you guys want to hear yeah. some music, right? Yeah. You ready? Bozzy, thank you so much. Let's do it. We're ready for Let's some music. Do it. 